Hello darlings and welcome back to another video. So as you already probably know I do live in Scotland and lockdown is finally getting lifted this Monday that's coming the 26th of April. Yay! However, the weather is not as hot as I would like it to be. I feel like summer is here already, like you can see it in the hair and everything. However, it is pretty chilly outside, but I still want to wear my summer dresses. And that's how this video idea came to life. I just love my summer dresses so much, like I have been wearing this little thing a lot over the past week or so. And my other favorites are these two. This one is by Jerf Avenue, this one is new from Zara and it occasionally comes in stock. So as always, first of all, I'll be linking everything down below. So check the description box if you like something from this video. But yes, I do feel like summer already and that's why I have decided to try and transform those very summer dresses into spring outfits which are suitable for a chilly weather but still having that summer spark in you. I have decided to do these three types of dresses not only because they are my favorite but it's also something that probably everybody already has in their wardrobe. So I'm covering three different styles. This one is floral more like summery country style a slip-on dress that probably everybody already has in like different colors so it makes it a little bit more difficult to style in spring and also a very voluminous and puffy dress like this one from Zara so I will be showing you how you can style your summer dresses for the spring weather so without further ado let's start with the video so let's start off with this beautiful H&M dress that I got from Fashion Hall Week and see how we can transform it for the colder Scottish weather. So for this type of dress the most obvious thing that you can do is add another layer on top and you can do that with a short cardigan that matches one of the colors on the dress or something that's basically very versatile like this one over here for me because it's like a very earthy tone that matches with everything that I wear but also you can add a little bit more color with a short more colorful cardigan like this one over here. So these two cardigans are my favorites to add a little bit of warmth to this outfit but at the same time to still show the main features of this dress which is the beautiful bodies and how it cinches in the waist and then pops a tiny little bit just enough to create that hourglass figure and these cardigans are just adding a layer without like destroying the beautifulness of this dress. <laughs> And for this dress specifically, my most worn shoes are two types, either boots which are not too warm, these ones are from Zara from last year, and my Adidas light blue shoes because they are very pastel-like and they just look very cute with the dress on. So these are my two options when I go outside depending if it's raining or if it's very cold and if I want a little bit more height or do I want a more of a chill look to it. I wanna jump in the neighborhood pool with you I wanna dive into that ocean with you Whisper words that would only make sense to you I wanna blow you to my lips turn long cardigan is also a great option. I don't have one that's the exact same length of the dress. This one is more of a midi size but if you do have one that ends where the dress ends that would be the perfect match but I can still show you that it will look cute with whatever length cardigan it is and if it is a little bit longer I would recommend maybe cinching it in the waist with a nice tiny belt to still keep the shape of the dress and have that hourglass figure again. Wrapping your arms around me, my legs around you. Got my favorite song on the radio. Give me the chills when you put it on. Put it on. Skin keeps glowing in the indigo. The way we feel, no, they'll never know. Never know. The way we feel. Another way of 
adding a little bit more warm to this outfit is by using a long sleeve blouse like this one. I do prefer something that has a high neck because I always get cold around my neck, especially when it's windy. So this one is like the perfect thing for me at least. You can add whatever color blouse you would like, but I just think that neutral white color would be the greatest fit and I will not be cold. So that's a win. On the pavement on these summer nights Honey, nothing they could do No, they can't take this high Away, away The way that you love me. And what I have actually worn this dress with for the past week or so is a jacket this is more like a jacket because it's between like a trench coat and a blazer and a jacket kind of thing but something again in neutral colors and i like its length it's midi but it does create a very beautiful shape with the dress i just like tying it like this in the middle and it does create that hourglass figure still with the jacket on and i still feel very warm and Perfect for spring, but still wearing your summer dress. Pull me close, pull me close. Wrapping your arms around me, my legs around your body. Pull me close, pull me close. Wrapping your arms around me, my legs around your body. Got my favorite song on the radio. Give me the chills when you put moving on to the next dress and we're starting on with a slip-on dress and this one is very bright purple so it's a little bit more difficult to style it during spring and to add a little bit more layers to it but I will give it my best. So how I like to style a slip-on dress is to add another layer to it, again a long sleeve blouse, this time it's black because I feel like this dress is a little bit more edgy and it can go away with a little bit of black. But, however, I'm not going to be putting it underneath the dress. You can totally do that if you would like, but this dress has a completely open back. So I don't think it will sit nicely if somebody sees me outside and that's underneath like poking out. So that's why I will layer it on top and I'll be matching it with my very, very comfortable and amazing shoes. Like black chunky shoes because the edginess of this dress can like take it. And if I'm still a little bit cold, I will add a oversized black blazer on top of it. Two steps and you're off and you're off so far away, far away. Whoa. I see that you put your differences aside. Okay, now you're off and you're off, you're miles away, miles away. Whoa. I see that you came to a compromise. Oh, I got lost in the way, got me hurricane. Of course you can always put just a plain oversized blazer on top of the dress as well. It can be a normal sized blazer, I just prefer an oversized fit because it creates a very interesting look and I'm going to pair it again with the chunky black boots because they are the most comfortable thing in the world and they are perfect for when it's a little bit chilly outside or if it's raining. Just losing my mind. And last but not least, I wanted to show you how you can style it with a chunky knit and I have decided to do it with this beautiful, like, very pale pink lilac -y shade of a sweater and I think it will just match perfectly with the dress and I'll just cinch it in the waist so it can create a nice shape as well but it will still keep me warm and this one is wool so that's for the a little bit more chilly nights but still I think it's going to look very cute you might already have in your closet is a leather jacket or a vegan leather jacket if you prefer. I just have this one from my mom so it's a vintage one 
I just like how a slip-on dress like with a very silky material looks with, paired with a leather jacket so this one is another option for you and we are moving on to the last dress that we will be styling today and that's the dress from Zara which is very puffy and long at the bottom and it also has puffy sleeves so that makes it a little bit harder to do as well also I wanted to say that every style that I have shown so far can be basically used to whatever dress you are wearing and it is an option for all I am just dressing up this one specifically as I find them a little bit harder for me and also they are the most worn during summer and spring so this dress specifically it does not worn by itself so sometimes it might be good just to wear it on its own and pair it with something that's a little bit more spring-like like those Zara boots that I have and they sit very nicely with it and I just love the look of it so if it is warm enough to wear just like a t-shirt kind of thing I think just pairing it with a nice pair of boots would be perfect And if it does get a little bit more chilly, I always like to pair it with my oversized black blazer together with my chunky boots. Just because I love mixing like a very feminine and cute girly thing with something that's a little bit more grunge and a little bit more manly, can I say? So yeah, I just like mixing trends and styles all together. doing is mixing this dress which again is very girly it's very eye-catching and I like to tone it down a little bit with something that's very basic and that you wear on everyday basis like this hoodie over here it's again very earthy color so it's this beige hoodie and I just love how it goes with the dress and you can see still the voluminous skirt of the dress underneath <laughs> darlings that's everything from me for today i hope you've enjoyed this video as well and if you do have any requests of what videos you would like to see or any brands that you want me to do hauls on let me know down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video i would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my channel so stay safe love you all and i'll see you again tomorrow bye <laughs>